Hello everyone, Josh for Spike again, bringing guys some more Eloon, and I wanted to give everyone an update on my reroll status, kind of what units I was able to get, how far I've gotten, and what I'm planning to do with my team from here. So, without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see in my lobby, you already kind of get like a quick spoiler alert of kind of what team I'm running at the moment. Um, one unit that clearly sticks out to me that I want to change, which we're going to talk about in a moment, um, is right here. Let's go down to my team. And by the way, I'm using the Midnight Lobby background because it just looks beautiful. And if you didn't know, you can actually change your lobby backgrounds from the daylight to the midnight. So definitely check that out if you haven't in the settings. But anyways, so this is my current team. Now, if you didn't know, you can actually change formations by going down here. Um, you can run a defense formation, a charge formation, or an iron wall. And then you can use your gold um, to go ahead and enhance those. And depending on what kind of team you're running is going to really dictate kind of what kind of formation that you want to run um there's also attack as well i forgot that one's at the very top i believe that's the one that you have a default and depending on which one you select it's going to ask you for certain types of characters to be used in different slots if you're wanting to achieve the um bonus effects like for example my uh front line i'm getting damage received down 3.8 percent and if I change around my back row, which I sadly can't at the moment because I'm actually leveling up fodder, which we're going to get into why I'm doing that in another video, you actually can get your attack up by 3.8%. Now, this is, of course, on the defense formation, and I got it at level 8. And again, there are other formations that you can play around with, which is very, very cool that they have that formation type of thing. I don't see that in very many gotchas, especially um, turn-based ones. So this is very, very cool. I love that they have that in the game. But, so, you can kind of see my main team right now. Um, obviously, you can't see it here because I am running some fodder. But my main team right now is we're running, of course, uh, Mika. Mika is, she's my girl, okay? Mika Zuki, I got her on my 1-2 reroll, which was awesome. She, she's a 5-star legendary right out of the gate. Um, I currently have her at level 50. I cannot evolve her yet. Because I need some more of her seeds. I need some more debuffer seeds. Um, I'll be making a video later on. Um, either today or tomorrow possibly. On how to kind of go and farm up those seeds. Um, as you can see I've been using some of my um, regular seeds. You know my loon seeds. On other units like that. So right now we're running Mikazuki. She's a very good debuffer. I've already kind of talked about her in my uh, top reroll legendary video. That's on the channel if you want to check that out. Um, now, where I got very lucky, okay, is I also went ahead and pulled the boy I was aiming for the entire time. Yup, turn up the heat, because Fahrenheit is in the house. Here's our boy right here. You can see already he's at 60, over 6,500 combat power, over 33,000 HP. His stats are just bonkers as a tank. His skill set is ridiculous. Again, we've already talked about him as well on the channel. Um, he is my go-to tank. He is the guy that I 110% wanted to go for. I did not get him on my actual reroll. I actually got him on my first off-cam multi-summon. And I almost crapped myself with enjoyment because I could not believe it. And he was also a 5-star. So I got him, Mika, and I got my boy McCarthy. I got him from my 1-5 selectives. As as well as a couple uh, epics and a bunch of various rares. So we got two debuffers and a tank. Um, in terms of legendaries for this account so far. I've only did one multi with gems. So I'm very satisfied. I got two of the three units legendary wise that I wanted. The only one I didn't get yet is Freya. But that may come later on. I wouldn't mind getting some DPS as well. Because I'm very much lacking DPS. I have a lot of debuffers on my team. If you haven't noticed, there's a lot of debuffers on this account. We have McCarthy debuffer. We've got <laughs> Mikazuki debuffer. We've got Katna uh, debuffer. And then we've also got Lilith debuffer. And then we got Charlotte debuffer. Um, and that's just my epics are higher. So I got a lot of debuffers. But no DPS, so we're going to have to work on that. The only DPS that I got so far was Sedna, but I'm not really feeling her yet. Maybe I need to build her up a little bit more, but I don't know. She's just not really pulling the weight that I was hoping that she would. The only weight I'm seeing that she's pulling is topside, if you know what I'm talking about. But other than that, 
I'm not I'm really lacking on that. So that's kind of my future plans right now is trying to get a better DPS to replace Sedna um if I can. Even if it's a rare that just has a better skill set for my current team, I'd like that. Nothing against Sedna. She might be good later on, but right now she's just not she's not doing what I need her to do. Of course, she's only level 24. I got to get her up to 40 and probably give her some better gear. That might help. So we'll see what happens. I'll give you guys an update on Sedna hopefully in the future. But yeah, so that's kind of my core team right now. Right now I'm running three legendaries um, and one epic. The other unit that I'm really running right now, I've made her a four star already via v evolving, is Stella. Stella name cannot be any more perfect. Stella is stellar. She's absolutely fantastic. We're actually going to actually talk about her for a moment. This wasn't meant to be a hero spotlight video or any kind of preview or anything like that. But I feel like I have to give her a little bit of time to shine and a little bit of love here. Um, I'm going to go and lock her up too just because she's just the only rare I can feel like I need to hit that lock button because I need to keep her close for a long time. It's going to be hard for me to even get her out of my team um, because of her skill sets being so good. And we're going to go over her skills right now. All right, so her first skill, her normal skill, of course, these are all level ones. haven't done any skill, skill enhancements yet, but Stardust. I love Stardust Dragon. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, Stardust Dragon is like, brah. Yo, so having that name already, I mean, she's already a winner in my book. She's got Stardust in her skills. Like, bruh, it's a, it's GG. That's done. She's mine. I'm keeping her. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, if we look at her skills, it's a front first skill. Collect stars from the sky and turns them into dust. I mean, that just sounds amazing to deal so-and-so amount of magic damage to the enemy. That is a cool skill, but still not really what we're after here. It's still not what I feel makes her amazing. Let's keep going. Her special skill, Zodiac Memory, recalls a dormant memory from the stars to create a barrier around the target ally that absorbs up to so-and-so amount of damage, excluding soul damage for two turns, and restores one random buff previously granted to the target. If a buff already present is restored, its duration will be refreshed. Ridiculous. The barrier itself may not be all that strong, at least at level 1 for the skill, and, but the fact that you can restore a buff that you may have lost or extend a buff you already have to reset its cooldown is ridiculous. Because imagine giving a unit a, like a big attack buff or a defense up buff or something like that. Or even damage immunity or some crazy buff like that. And she's just like, nah, you ain't losing it yet, boy. We're going to bring it on back. Or we're going to just reset it. We're going to reset time. We're going to go back. Like, that's ridiculous. So that right there is already good. I feel like um, the skills are only going to start getting better. So let's continue. Ultimate Galactic Blessings gathers the energy of the great universe and activates a barrier that allows all allies to absorb up to so-and-so amount of damage, excluding soul damage for two turns. Attack increases by 10% while barrier is active. So she's just giving you that you know just a nice quick 10 percent obviously that'll go up of course when we level the skill even more so she is a very good support unit because she's providing you barriers redistributing buffs resetting buffs giving you attack increases just wow and then again we're not done yet she still keeps getting better Morning Star, passive one, moves faster than anyone else as the Morning Star gets the first move at the start of every wave. What? And soul consumption is reduced by two. Bro, I'm just shaking my head. You can't see me shaking my head, but I'm shaking my head because damn. If an Alune with the same effect is present, turns will be determined by attack speed. If they have the same attack speed, turn order will be decided randomly. She's just, man, that passive one is nutty. And then her passive two, Starlight Mystique. The mystery of Starlight truly manifests when stars shine from all around rather than one by one. Stella's attack increases by 5% for each ally with Stella's barrier. So if you have a team of five and you all have the barrier, her attack will increase by, I believe, 20% because I don't think it's 25% because I believe it doesn't count herself because it says her attack increases for each ally But then again, it could also include her it depends how they're gonna how they're actually how literal they're taking that term ally Is it everyone or the other four units? So it's gonna be between 20 25 percent. So Pretty crazy. She provides herself with a little bit of attack 
She provides your team with the attack buff, redistributing buffs, resetting buffs, barriers, just ridiculous. And her Morningstar passive is just nutty. So crazy, crazy good unit. If you guys are looking for a really solid rare, I would highly recommend building up Stella 110% worth it. She might be my first unit that I'm going to try to get the plus five if I can get some more dupes of her. Since she is only a rare, it'll be a lot easier than trying to do that with epics and legendaries. And I definitely want to try and get her to level 60 as soon as possible because she looks really, really good skill-wise, design-wise, everything. I feel like I'm running with my 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 version of dark magician girl this is my dark magician girl but the light version for eloon so this is my loon dark magician girl right here so i'm all about it um as you can see her hp is not too bad right now at level 40 physical defense attack magic defense we're gonna have to work on all that obviously with gear and leveling her up but that is pretty much what my game plan is going forward i'm gonna work on stella gonna try and get a better dps on my team uh max out you know, the rest of my legendaries, trying to get them all to six star at some point um, by farming up some more seeds and all that good stuff. And uh, that was what I got for my rerolls as well. So in case some of you are wondering what I got, that's what I got. This is what I'm working with. And this is what I'm going to be doing going forward. So hope you guys all enjoyed that video where I kind of just break down what I've been up to over the course of the past few hours on Eloon. Hope you guys have been enjoying the game as well. Please subscribe for more content. Don't forget to join us in the Discord description below because I finally got a guild up. I'll be bringing a video about that probably later as well. Um, so if you're wanting to join my guild, definitely make sure that you join a Discord because we're only taking Discord applications at the moment because I want to make sure that we have a really tight-knit community with the guild. Um, don't forget to like the video if you did as well. Comment below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have an awesome day wherever you are. Until then... Peace.